Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about our fourth and final legend, Murphy the Ghost. Every town has its ghost stories. Every year, towns like Goldsboro, Newburn, Wilmington, and now Mount Olive have ghost walk, which attract large crowds. There's something so intriguing about ghosts that they are embedded in folklore. Mount Olive has its own ghost stories. The best documented one is that of Murphy the Ghost. Murphy was associated with the former English and Oliver Produce Brokerage, which was located at 211 North Center Street between 1900 and 1958. Ribeye's Restaurant now occupies the site. Murphy's Place Restaurant was in the building between 2006 and 2009 and was named for Murphy the Ghost. The best accounts of the ghost occurred when the brokerage restaurant was in the building between 1998 and 2001. Natalie Crumpler, a waitress at the brokerage between 1998 and 1999, recounts the following experiences with Murphy. Natalie says, True story. When the brokerage first opened in 1998, the owners had a touchscreen computer system installed to track all of the restaurant and bar orders. Every night, when the owners would run the reports and balance the registers, the register in the dining room and bar would always be out of balance by one Guinness Stout beer. Usually, you could track the orders by the employee number, and if the employee didn't collect the money, they would have to pay for it. Well, there was never a number associated with the order. It just kept appearing out of nowhere. The owners chalked it up to the ghost Murphy. This weird incident happened every night for the first couple of months. In another story, Natalie says she waited tables at the brokerage and had two different encounters with Murphy. One night, around 10.30 or 11 p.m., Natalie and her co-worker were setting the tables for the next day. They ran out of knives and spoons, so Natalie's co-worker went downstairs to get some more. A few minutes later, as Natalie was still placing what silverware she had left on one of the tables, she thought her co-worker had re-entered the room and she asked him a question. When he didn't answer her, she turned around and there was no one there. Natalie had just seen what she thought was her co-worker out of the corner of her eye. Could it have been Murphy? On another occasion, Natalie says she was taking some dishes into the kitchen through the swinging door. And because her co-workers were upstairs, she pushed the door open pretty hard with her foot and screamed when there was a man standing in front of her. At first, she thought it was her co-worker and that she had hit him with the door, as this occurred frequently during restaurant hours with all of them in and out of the kitchen. Just as soon as she screamed and got her composure back, there was no one there. Natalie's co-workers have been upstairs the whole time. Natalie says it was a very eerie feeling and that she still gets chills when she recalls that image. So beware the next time you eat at ribeyes, you may just encounter Murphy, and if you do, perhaps you should offer him a Guinness.